you know, I'm not surprised about anything. Because of the name. This is why we gotta pray. <laughs> can't come here in a form and a fashion. It's warfare. Dude. The king come, the devil come. Yeah. I'm in the name. Amen. I come to set the church be free. It's a big assignment. And if one person and only two people, it's the people of God. Amen. Peter proclaimed and taught the people. Did you know what happened? While they were in prison, 5,000 was added. Amen. While they were being whipped, the church was growing. Yes. That's a good time to reject Jesus. Amen. Are oh, you listening to me tonight? Now I want you to see this. And he says, in verse 12. And there is South, he said, and he is the stone which was ejected by you. Now I want you to think about that. One second. Where did Peter get that scripture from? You gotta understand, these men ain't gonna know scribes, Pharisee school. They only been with Jesus three and a half years. 40 days and 40 and 10 and Holy Ghost shows up and you're wandering around talking about I can't remember Psalm 91 Peter had to remember how the church got started Amen. by the Holy Ghost Amen. he was filled with the Holy Spirit see being filled with the Holy Ghost ain't just speaking in tongues it's like letting the tongue speak to you Holy Ghost brings all things back to remembrance. It glorifies God. Amen. It glorifies the name. Yes. Church is sick, y'all. Church has got it all the time. Church is feeble, can't even remember. Yes. But Peter said, the stone that the builders reject. He's quoting the scripture. Amen. He's in jail. Amen. He done been beat. He ain't got no Bible. He's talking to the scribes and the Pharisees and the universities, teachers, and all those graduates from all the seminaries. And they look at you because they got a robe and a collar and they got a coliseum full of people but they don't know the word I'm not intimidated because I got the name Amen. the name I want you to see that this, I'm bringing you back because you need to understand that the church has never ever changed Amen. it's the same church that can with the same authority, with the same power, abilities as these people. Yes. Peter can now pull scripture yes. pertaining to the events of his day yes. as being in order with God's will. Amen. Look what it said. Thank you, Father. He is a stone which was rejected by you, the builder by which became the very cornerstone. Oh my God, my God, my son. It sounds like a foundation. Amen. A foundation has been laid. Yes. You can't build upon nothing else but that which it was stand. You can't build wood, hay, and stuff. You can't build with the philosophy of mind, man, and the mind of man. You can't build with religion. You can't build with all this schooling and all this stuff. You can't. All that did was remove the wonder. Yes. All that did was remove miracles, signs, and wonder. Now, if it happened, it happened. But then, when we pray, it happened. Yes. I can't get this. I don't know. I just, I mean, my, 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 God. It, 
listen tomorrow. If y'all don't want to stay home, you can stay home because I'm going to preach the name. Let COVID take you home. I want to be where God is. Yes. I want to be with people that want God. Yes. I want to be with people that can get with people that can get put in jail. People that can still stand and say the name. Yes. Amen. We're not ashamed of the gospel. No. Because it's a foundation. The cornerstone. The very foundation still stands today. Amen. Yes. The church is built on that foundation. You think that God just made this name a foundation of power? Here it is. Amen. Which became the very cornerstone. Now, I want to show you how powerful this is. You ain't remembering much when you just got beat. Yeah. You ain't remembering much if you just spent a night in jail. Some of y'all have never been beat. You've never been persecuted. But you don't remember nothing about the gospel. You know how church run by what man told you. But not by what God said. Amen. I'm going to stand on the rock. I want you to understand something that Peter in, in any human form could never do that. Amen. Yes. That's a miracle. It's a miracle of the beginning of the church. Yeah. That Peter could only do that. Listen to me. The only way the church can stand is by the Holy Spirit. He's our strength. Yeah. He's our comforter. Oh, the devil don't like his his demons, his angels. Can't, they, they can't stop the four corners. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes there's a message that you can't, you ain't gonna see again, ain't gonna ever hear it again, ain't gonna ever feel it again. That's why I'm telling you, you can be here, but you ain't feeling it. Yeah. It's been taken from you Amen. by the evil one. But it's not gonna stop God's plan because the sick church right. is gonna be healed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now I want you to see this in verse 12. And this salvation is in no one else. It's not in Buddha. It's not in Baptist. Yes. It's not in Methodist. Yes. It's not in the Bible. Listen. It's, when are we going to get back to the, be, to the beginning? The beginning is still the same as our day. Amen. Yes. Amen. Still the same as the day we are in. Because the day the Lord has made. Look what he said in verse 12, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. And there is a salvation in no one else, but there is no other. Y'all ain't got it yet. Yes. You didn't get this. Yes. The Amen. beginning of the church yes. was full of the what? One. The name. Amen. The wonder. Amen. The only one. Yes. I want y'all to understand, Peter never lost focus of the name. Amen. Look what he said. Under heaven that has been given among men by which we shall be saved. Amen. You want to be saved? Yes. As many as call upon him shall be saved. Yes. Many as believe in his name he has made the sons of God. Amen. The children of God. Even the name Jesus. Yes. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time doing a whole lot of talking. Amen. Won't you give them the name? Yes. Thank you for the revelation of the name, Lord. Are you listening to me tonight? Look what he said. 
in verse number 13. Now, as they observe, now watch this. You ready for this? Yes. The confidence and the boldness of Peter. Where did that come from? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. And John. And understood that they were, uh, y'all, y'all, didn't I tell you who they were? Yes. Didn't I tell you who they were? Yes. These people are looking down on them. Amen. Like they've looked down on the apostle. How many members you got? Huh? What's your influence in this? I, 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 you know what my influence is? The name. I can call them the name. Amen. Sir, do we call them the name? Yes. Six hours. Amen. While the world around us is going up and down the streets. The name of Jesus for certain situations around the world. You came here Saturday as a church. Yeah. Not black, not white, not American. For the world. Yeah. There's no distance between us and heaven. Because of the name. Look what he said in verse. He says they they were uneducated and untrained. Y'all didn't get that. Yes. Amen. They didn't go to seminary. That's right. Now we're producing all this stuff out of seminaries and sending them out with a cookie cut plan called church growth. Yes. It looked democratic to me. Amen. And it looked Republican to me. Amen. Some of the saddest times is when we got a vote in it. And the church is divided. In America. I want y'all to see that God uses regular people. Who were filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. So you sitting there, you, you put yourself down, you're looking up. And, so I don't want nobody to look at me. I'm not smart, people. Amen. I just got boldness and confidence because of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. I had to learn everything I've learned by praying in tongues. Amen. And everything that proceed out of the mouth of God. Yes. When are you gonna to listen to God? Or listen to me tonight. I want you to see this. He said, Now as they observed the confidence of Peter and John, they understood that they were uneducated, untrained men. And watch this. They were marveling. Listen to me. The world's going to marvel at churches like Foundation of Power and people that's coming together. You're coming out of those caves. You're coming out of those houses. You're coming out of those prisons. You're coming out of those streets. You're coming up out of sickness. You're coming up out of, out of, out of Alzheimer. You are coming back to the gate of the Lord. They marvel because Peter quoted a scripture. Amen. Yes. Amen. He just quoted a scripture. Yes. They know that he don't know the scriptures. Amen. But the Holy Ghost wrote the scriptures. Yes. Y'all don't depend on the Amen. Holy Ghost. You don't depend on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wrote the book. Yes, he did. The Holy Spirit raised Jesus up. Amen. The same Spirit raises you. Amen. The name. What a wonder. I'm telling you, when I started reading this, I, I just began to I just began to just cry to God. I said, God, help me. This is so humongous and, and so enormous. This is so important, so big for 2021. Amen. To give the nations. We can't come here slack. Amen. Peter won't by himself, folks. He had John with him. Because Thomas ain't by himself, is he? No. When you going to come with the Holy Ghost? When you going to come with the name? The name ain't scared of COVID. Amen. The COVID is scared of the name. Amen. I want you 
want you to see this. He said, and 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 look at it. And they marvel and begin to recognize them as what? Then with Jesus. Then with Jesus. Now let's hear something. I'm not from that age of 2,021 years ago, but people still recognize that I've been with Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know that when the last time somebody recognized you've been with Jesus? Somebody might recognize you. You've been in an organization. You were the leader of the choir. Huh? Amen. You carried the cup. But have you been with Jesus? Yeah. You know the deacons in those days were with Jesus. You know the women in those days were with Jesus. Amen. That's right. 5,000 was added. That means 5,000 women and several children. Amen. They only counted the men in those days. And as they observed the confidence of Peter and John and understood that they were uneducated and untrained men. That, that means we got hope. Amen. They mocked. People marvel at the revelation. I don't care if you use it. It's not mine. Amen. Freely I receive, freely I give. The man. I want you to see that they begin to recognize they've been with Jesus. Now I want you to see something. Verse 14. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they had nothing to say. With this church I'm talking about, rise up and be healed. Y'all ain't, ain't praying with me. You don't believe it. Y'all don't think that that's church out here. You think there's a church back there. You think there's a church over yonder. But we can't even have a fish fry together. We can't even play bingo. You can have bingo, but only your church can go to it. Amen. But when that church is healed, yes. they have nothing to say. That's right. See, see, your best defense is shut up your persecutor. That's right. When you can shut the prosecutor up, Amen. you win the case. Amen. I want you to see verse 14. He says, but when they saw, they knew that man. Yeah. That, listen, the world around us drive by every church every Sunday. Yeah. And they watch the church. Y'all ready for this? Close their doors. That's right. Now, won't you see? They had nothing to say in reply. But when they had ordered them to go out, 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 go aside, out of the council, they began to confer with one another. The world around us is always talking. Yes. Did you hear Pastor Thomas on the radio? Did you see us on YouTube? You heard him talk about ninety-one Diva? Yes. Y'all ain't with me yet. Amen. For 20 weeks. Amen. Here we talk about the apostles and the, the watchmen. In 2021? Yes. They are conferring. What shall we do with these men? What do we do with a church like Foundation of Power? What you do with the people that believe in the name? Yeah. For the fact that a noteworthy miracle, y'all ain't ready for this. Amen. We're talking about this is the year 
of miracles, signs, and wonders. It's really funny that nobody's here for a miracle. I've been in the same place for 27 years. Miracle power. I believe the added can be I believe the rebellious child can be obedient. I believe any sickness and disease can be healed. In my name, you shall cast out devils. Don't make your devils so hard to cast out. Just believe in the name. He didn't give the devil all the names, but anything that is evil is devilish. Amen. In the name, you shall cast out devils. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. If you drink anything deadly, it shall not harm you. Amen. You shall take up serpents. In the name. Peter had the name. Yes. And John had the name. The church had the name. Yes. But where is the name? In 2021. Where is the name? Do I follow what everybody else follow or do I follow the name? Do I follow what everybody else builds? Do I follow, look down and, and, and look up at them and think that what qualifies a church, people? Is the name. Amen. I'm tired of seeing the folks shaking their funk and throwing their legs up and calling it spiritual dance and, and, and yes. uh, singing and but they don't even know the name. Because that name was saved. Amen. I didn't build a church for entertainment. Amen. I didn't build a church to tell jokes to make you laugh. Yeah. Give you something funny. I didn't build a church so you can cry when a song is played. I want you to cry when Jesus shows Amen. up. That's right. That's right. That you call on the name. This name still heals. This name still delivers. This name still saves. Amen. What a wonder. What a wonder. I know I'm doing good. Amen. And if you don't want this message to go nowhere. The name. Let's look at this. He says, seeing a noteworthy miracle. I'm telling the world, unbelievers, religious folks, gave testimony that a real miracle happened. Has taken place through them, is apparent to all who live in Jerusalem. We cannot deny it. Amen. Many years ago, before I even became a pastor, I was preaching in a little small trailer house. And I gave a word that there would be a church in a city where folks will come from all over. Not because of the club, not because of the football team. Not because of the airport. But because miracle signs and wonders. I got my insurance paid up, folks. Amen. Because it's backed up with the Holy Spirit. 
miracles, signs, and wonders. It's in our hands. Amen. It's in our midst. In the name. You shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Let's look at this a little bit deeper. He says, But in order that they may not spread any further anymore among the people, let us warn them to what? Speak no more. In verse 17. To any man. Where? In this name. In the name. Now I want you to understand something that he said. That's where we are today. Amen. When the last time you heard the name of Jesus on radio? TV. I told you the beginning. The day never changed. Let me ask you a different question. When the last time you used the name? And really used it. The world told them, don't say the name. That means we need to say the name. I want you to understand something. When I told you, when the devil tell you not to do something, that's what you need to do. Yeah. When he tell you that, that uh, you give him the opposite. Yeah. The name. The name. The name. What a wonder. I want you to know something. This is the beginning. Yeah. We're 2,021 years from them saying that how they, the world around us had taken away the name. Don't preach, don't speak in that name. Yes. You can speak about any subject you want. Amen. Don't say the name. That's what we got, a bunch of philosophy, a bunch of human reasonings and human minds. That means nothing. How to get rich. Amen. Yeah. How to get out of your situation. But not the name. And when they had summoned them, they commanded them to not speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Yes. I want y'all to see that we're living in a day where the church very few seldom use the name. The name. Jesus. Whatever you want. Where two or three are gathered together, we're in my name. In my name. When you come here, you don't need to come in his name. Amen. You need to be ready to attack the devil by praying the Holy Ghost. He will show you tonight the camel might be attacked. You could have prayed about the attack on the camel. You could pray if you stay in the name. All of you. It ain't one person praying. All of us are praying. Yes. I say before you do anything, ask for wisdom. That's the name. And watch this. But Peter and John answered. Everybody say the church answered. Yes. And said to them, where is right in the sight of God to give heed to you rather than to God, you be the judge. Let me tell you something. I decided long ago I'm going to follow Jesus. Amen. I don't care if mama followed Jesus. That's right. I don't care if daddy followed Jesus. And they, 
initially. My daddy told me once, he came here, had a great time all night, well, the whole revival, he had a great time, and he stood and said, but Sunday I'm going to my church. I just looked at him. But that didn't change my course. Amen. Because in the sight of God, I'm going to follow God. Amen. I'm talking to you for real people. People couldn't really join this church because they they need to have a throne in a place where they don't use his name. Yes. But Pastor Thomas won't there. You better understand Pastor Thomas. Because I'm going to be in the sight of God. Amen. You can't understand supernatural things that happens behind the veil. Peter said, I hear what you're saying, Amen. but I'm going to follow God. Yes. You better follow God. You see, we want God to be everywhere, and we want God, and we want God, we guess, oh, we had a good, no, how? They don't use a name. That's right. It's not on the cornerstone. Yes. That the builders rejected became the chief cornerstone. Yes. Look at verse 20, 19. For we cannot stop speaking what we have seen and heard. Amen. Now listen to me. They didn't get that in seminary. That's right. They got it from the wonder. 40 days with Jesus. And the one mo moment that the Holy Ghost showed up. Amen. Let me tell you. When God saved me, I can't stop talking about Amen. what I've seen and Amen. heard. Amen. Yes. I'm still talk. I'm still happy. I'm still upset with the world out there that would let me go to hell. Amen. And would have had a great, great film for me. Yeah. And would have said some nice words. Amen. And I have a little tombstone set up there, but I'll be forever in the darkness separated from God. Y'all should all give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. But look at verse 21. And when they had threatened them both, they let them go. Finding no basis in which they might punish them on account of the people because they were glorifying God for what happened. Listen to me, people. When miracles, signs, and wonders begin to happen. I didn't say when they show up, they never left. Amen. Do you believe it? Yes. People will begin to glorify God. Yes. The news cameras are coming. I believe that we can stop the violence in our streets. Yes. I believe we can stop the increase of hate in our country. In the name of Jesus. The name people. And is this revival or what? Yes. Is this revival or what? Yes. It's harvest time. Amen. What a wonder. Look what he said. And when they had it says, and for the man was, I want y'all to see something. I told you. 40. All right. You need to see this. I gave you, I'm behind the veil now. I'm in that place where very few have been. I'm praying and God said, son, this is the, this is the, that man symbolized the church. That had no hope. Yes. That had no name. Amen. I want you to see this man. 
Isn't it ironic? Yes. He is 40. Yes. 40. The time of tabernacle. Yes. The time of harvest. The time when you're in the wilderness. Yes. Look what he said. And this man was about 40 whom the miracle of healing had been performed. A time of testing. I said the church is coming to a time of testing. We're coming to that day. You're going to see this. The word tonight is releasing miracle signs and wonders Amen. for the body of Christ. I'm not, I'm not talking about the true people. I'm talking about the people who are held captive by human reasoning yes. and philosophies. Yes. You're going to rise. Yes. Look what he said. And when they had been released, they went to their companions and reported all that the chief preachers and elders had done. Now this is powerful. What will you do if you've been beaten? If you've been whipped? If you've been put in jail? Some of y'all have never come to that church again. You're going to start another one. Here's what it said. And when they heard this, they lifted their voices to God. Who did they lift their voices to? God. To God and said, O oh Lord, it is thou who didst make heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In your, why come when you get in your trials, you blame God? Why do you forget the wonder, powerful, the faithfulness of God? As soon as they got out, Again, the Holy Ghost Amen. brought to them. I think that is Psalms 5 or 6. I said, how did they know this? They were unlearned, untrained. And you sit and came and you're trying to pray a prayer that you're trying to get out of your brain. Won't you use the Holy Ghost prayer? I'm not talking about talking in tongues. I'm talking about the, the Holy Ghost bringing the scripture to you to pray. Yes. They lift up their eyes. And glorify God and said, the maker of heaven and earth. And look what he said in verse 24. And all them, and look at verse 25, who by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, thy servant, this said, now listen to me. That sounds like some, somebody knows something. Amen. I'm talking about these men went three and a half years walking with Jesus. They didn't have time to study no scripture. They were watching Jesus yes. and saying, you're crazy. We're not going to Jerusalem. Amen. Don't you go. Amen. How are you going to feed 5,000? We ain't got but two fish and five loaves. Yes. I, I, I mean, Lazarus is dead. What you mean you, he's asleep? Y'all ain't. He, they weren't studying, though. No, there was no Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yes. How can you get that from the Holy Ghost? The same Spirit is still here. Amen. You can you can speak Scripture too. Amen. I got a Scripture for everything because I meditated day and night. Amen. I'm talking about in 40 days, in 10 days, when the Holy Ghost comes, they, they're walking in the Spirit. Amen. They said, David, by the Holy Spirit, said. Pharisee would never say that. Amen. They would say, David said. Yes. Just like the church out there that's sick. Will never say, anoint them with oil and pray the prayer of faith. Amen. And if they committed any sin, they shall be forgiven. The prayer of faith shall raise them up. We go and sit by the bed and talk so we can get a raise. 
get a good evaluation, especially if it's a family with power. Y'all know how the church people play the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the pastor come, he's he, they are him or her. They just there for a year, two years. Amen. And they're already looking for a bigger church while they come to your little church. So they ain't there to serve you. That's right. Whoa. But we're going through that and now never any miracles. I've been here 27 years. Amen. Preaching the gospel. I'm waiting for you to bring some people. Some of y'all go get the poorest first person you can find. What about them rich folks you know? They got some devils too. Amen. Are you with me yet? Yes. Look down here at verse 25. He said, Why did the Gentile rage and the people devise futile things? The kings of the earth took the stand, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. He's saying that the church will always have the world against them. Amen. Even if it's a place called church. Look at verse 27. For truly in this city there was gathered together against the holy servant Jesus, whom thou didst anoint, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the people of Israel. Now watch in verse 28. To do whatever thy hands and thy purpose predestined to occur. Verse 29. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and grant that thy bond servant may speak thy word with what? Father, let me speak your word with all confidence. Because look what happened in verse 30. This is where we're going to leave tonight. While thou didst extend thy hand, what, 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 did, what did God do? He extended his hands. I said, see, you, you sit there with your arm folded at church. Like you sitting on your toilet. Let me look at me. How does that look in the sight of God? Like you don't need anything. But suppose you just lift your hand. When the last time you just lift your hands to God and surrender? Because God will extend his hand to touch your hand. You can't touch nothing like this. Watch this. Who extended thy hand to heal and signs and wonders take place through thy the name of thy holy servant Jesus. This is where I started. Yes. I started with this verse and God said there's more son. Let's go backwards. I want you to see something today. That the name of Jesus was in the beginning. Yes. The name of Jesus is here now. Yes. That what happened? Why are we in this mess that we're in? Why are we in this place that we're in? I'm not there. I'm in the name. Amen. I'm in the day that the Lord has made. Amen. He still heals. Amen. You gotta get it, you people. Yes. He still heals. Yes. In the name. In the name. You don't Amen. believe it? It's impossible not to believe it. Amen. Even the world saw it and they had to believe it and said. A miracle really happened. Amen. A miracle still can happen today. Amen. What a wonder. And look what he said in verse 31. And when they had prayed. See, I'm talking about prayer. I'm talking about real prayer. Tomorrow, I want you to come for real prayer. Look what he said. The place where they were gathered together was shaken. I'm going to talk to you tonight. That's the kind of prayer I want. Yes. I want prayer to shake. Man. Get, I want to get shaken. Yes. It shook them then, it shake them now. Amen. Mm -hmm. The reason why we can't pray, because we ain't been praying. You got to pray the word. Amen. Not in your memory, but by the spirit. These men didn't know no scripture. Yes. They spoke by the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. 
the same that we should do today. Amen. Look what he said. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. We don't even tell. We don't even tell people about tongues no more. We don't tell people about the up to the Holy Spirit no more. I asked y'all to pray in the Spirit. Saturday, I, 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 I could have heard a mouse stump his toe. You need to sound like a, a tank is coming through. Amen. You, if a tank came rolling, you could hear it about a half a mile away. Amen. That's the way you should pray. Let the devil shake too. Amen. Look what he said. And begin to speak the word of God with boldness and the congregation of those who believe were of one heart and soul the church is going to be one y'all and not one of them claimed that anything belonged to them on his own but all things were common profit to them but I wanted you to see in verse 33 and with great power the apostles was given witness to the resurrection of Jesus and abundant grace was upon them I want you to know that the God in heaven extends his hands to heal Amen. and perform miracles, signs, and wonders. What a wonder. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Give the Lord some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.